Total Hit Music. Total Access. Hey! It How works. are you? I'm all right. How are you? I'm good, thanks. Oh, where are we? Where are you taking me? Uh, I'm just out of my bedroom, out of my nap. <laughs> just... I don't know. Maybe I'll sit over here in the good light. Ah. Have I disturbed you? That is fine. I should have been sleeping now. I should be up. Is that, <laughs> is that the quarantine life that you're yeah. currently living? <laughs> totally. I, I thought that might be the case. Yeah. Um, are you okay? Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. Are you I up? just <laughs> slumbered off for a moment. Literally, that's all I've been doing. <laughs> it's good because I shouldn't be sleeping daytime. I should be awake and I should be sleeping nighttime. <laughs> It's difficult though, isn't it? When you haven't got routine, when you haven't got stuff that you need to like do. Totally. It goes out the and stuff that you need to be like awake for in the morning. So then you just think, oh, I might as well watch another episode like in the middle of the night of something you absolutely don't need to watch another episode of. I bet. And then you just sleep all day. I bet you've been watching <laughs> Tiger King. Of course I have. The first day it came out, I was like, oh, something new to watch. Yay, because I've seen everything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What do you think of Tiger King? I just hated everyone on there. Mm. You know what I mean? Not like it wasn't like one person that I was like, I I like you, like I believe you. Like no. <laughs> I just dislike like heavily disliked every single person on there. Uh which was quite interesting because I never really happened before. But Joe Exotic, a f- character, although he was absolutely insane and, you know, hated Carol. <laughs> Poor Carol. I don't know if she killed her husband or not. Like, I'm like... Who knows? It was weird when she said, well, if you want him to be... If you want a tiger to eat him, you have to drain him in sardine oil or something. I was like... That's calculated, Ooh. isn't it? That's very specific. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I do. What quite, do you think? I quite like that she calls people her. What is it called? Cats and kittens. Mm. I'm like cats I can't, and kittens. I can't really use it. <laughs> <laughs> she got. She. I liked her energy. Yeah, but she also scared me. Like Mother Earth energy, but with crazy eyes. Mm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I feel that. I feel that. Um, how are you finding things at the moment? I've spoken to a few different people, especially like obviously you're a music maker, you're a creative person. Like mm-hmm. four walls is quite difficult to get inspiration from. But are you, yeah, find, yeah. Are you finding it? I I think you need to like find different ways of being creative, um, depending on what it is. But like nowadays, being an artist is not only you know make music and and do that. For me, uh, my music's pretty much done on my album, but I still want the creative around it. Like, I would love a music video, and I would love, like, you know, an album cover or a single cover. And um, nothing's open, or, like, all the production companies have no one working for them, or um, it's shut down. And I think the annoying part is, like, when is it going to open up? When is it going to not be not be like this anymore and I think nobody knows so I'm like I should shoot a music video in my living room like on my iPhone (laughs) I don't know how that would turn out but I also ordered a home studio so it's gonna come tomorrow and I've said that for the longest time I'm like I really want to start producing and now I have the time so I'm gonna have like a producing laptop uh ordered a microphone headphones speakers a little piano like we're getting it you know so maybe i'll produce my next album that um, sounds awesome quarantine so we'll see but now i really have the time yeah right so no, no excuses, excuses i yeah. guess yeah. <laughs> exactly. um there's somebody called nina nesbitt do you know nina nesbitt nina nesbitt yeah you should check her out she's um mm. she's got a little setup like that she's got like the keyboard oh, cool. and stuff yeah like that. And she's been doing just mad it's stuff anything yeah right. exactly yeah you should check her out she's quite fun um you, I, I read somewhere that you've scrapped quite a lot of songs that didn't make it yeah. to the album. Oh my god, I have so many songs, and that stresses me out because I'm like, uh, what if I have so many amazing songs? I mean, I've been working on this for three years now, so you know, I have a couple of albums in there, and I think the 
the hard part is like, what songs do I pick to make it a project? Or do I make it a project? Or do I just like put really good songs on it? Or that doesn't really make sense together? Or am I doing it like... I, I could basically... I have so many songs that I could basically do like a house album. Or I could do like an R&B album. Or uh, like I have so many different categories. Um, but I think ultimately I just want... A collection for this one i just want a collection of of really good songs um and still you know my sound like i don't really know what that is it's just songs that i like and um we'll see where that takes me i think maybe it's easier to look back on like stuff you did than to say this is the sound i'm going for it's mm -hmm. definitely pop it's like you know classic swedish dark a little darker pop but my inspiration for this album was also like my swedish roots like abba um okay mm -hmm. i was like give me the chords like give me the melodies give me the kind of like abba but on vacation okay yeah I'm so we'll keen see to hear that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what, made you, um, what made you want to work with kaigo Ooh, I've been wanting to work with him for a really long time. I've seen him um, just about, you know, especially in Scandinavia. I've seen him at different festivals and he's like the nicest guy. Um, I remember him, like so many of his songs has been the track of my summers. And um, I thought he just had this amazing, like fresh sound to me with the the tropical house. Um, so I've been wanting to work with him for a really long time. And then he had this song. We actually did a few songs that we tried. And then he had this song and I really liked it. And he said he wanted it to be a single. And I was like, put me on it. Um, <laughs> Real forceful. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But it was super cool. And he's like the nicest guy. Unfortunately, we didn't do it in the studio. It was one of those classics. Like I recorded it in LA and then I sent the files over. Um, but I'm so happy we finally got it together. And I think me and Kaigo is just like chilling. We're doing the fun stuff. And then our managers are like doing the work, the boring part. Yes. We're just doing the music, um, you know, having a good time, being creative. And I would love to do something else with him. I would love to be in, in the session and, and write something from scratch too. Okay, but I think hopefully it's just going to be a really good song for the summer um no matter if you're dancing alone or if you're allowed out in a crowd i know who yeah. knows who <laughs> yeah the hell knows does, yeah does that um make you nervous at all about we don't know what the state of the world's gonna be in a few months time so mm, it doesn't make me nervous it makes me a little uh from my you know from my artistic perspective oh, yeah. it's boring it's sad that i don't get to perform as much as i would have but um i think a lot of festivals are still kind of holding out that are being held at the end of the summer so a lot of festivals are still seeing what's gonna happen but i think we're all what, what actually helps is to think we're all in this together and right now it's just nobody's time you know and we just have to sit this one out and um, the better we do that, hopefully the faster we can come out and live our lives again. So we're in it together. No one's, I, I don't think anyone's happy about this, but Absolutely. I'm chilling. I mean, I don't have to like go to work to pay rent or feed my family um, or work in the hospital or like, you know, so I think I'm okay. Right. Yeah. And there's people that are really out there totally. on the front line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 100%. Um, so... Have you learned anything about your neighbours? This is something that I've definitely found, like, because <laughs> we're all at home and we're all... Right. Have you learned oh, anything? Oh, that's such a funny question. <laughs> I just had a neighbour move next to me a couple of weeks ago. And I live on, um, I live on the, I live on the sixth floor, which is the high, like, floor highest up. And it's, it's usually four, like, people living on one floor, but on the top is only two. So it's me and my neighbour. And... Outside of our doors, it's been these, like, big bags of um, kitchen cabinet. You know, the the thing you, like, 
kitchen cabinets basically <laughs> okay. just laying there for weeks and i thought it was them because they just moved in All right so i'm like <clears throat> i'm gonna write them a letter <laughs> and my sister was like don't be rude about it don't be rude about it be like hi um maybe you guys think that this is ours but it's not i was like why would they think it's ours like it's obviously theirs but anyways i was i was being nice i rewrote it because the first one was a bit rude <laughs> so i i rewrote the note and I was like, be more friendly, like, hi, so, you know, is it yours? Because it's not ours. So maybe you guys know. And they were like, oh, my gosh, we've been thinking the same thing. It's not ours. Oh. We thought it was yours. Because we kind of like a little passive aggressively have like moved it towards their side. <laughs> and then they kind of moved it towards our side. And then we move it back. And then we, and we never really met them because they just moved in. So we wrote this one. And they were like, who is it then? That means that someone just put their kitchen cabinets on our floor which is so rude so now i'm like ah, now we're in this together <laughs> now it's not like us versus our neighbors and it turns out they're really really nice so i'm happy i didn't write a passive aggressive note <laughs> <laughs>